So it's really important the doctrine of Christ is is everything that we do. Um, I would really encourage all of you to just learn more about the doctrine of Christ, to uh, read the Book of Mormon, and look for the doctrine of Christ in the Book of Mormon. Um, the introduction of the Book of Mormon says that the Book of Mormon contains the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the reason it says that, as you read through the Book of Mormon, becomes very apparent. Because the gospel of Jesus Christ, the doctrine of Christ, the missionary purpose, it's, it's all one and the same. And it's completely, the, the Book of Mormon is just saturated with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, I had one investigator and he was... He was just a brilliant man. He was a teacher at uh, one of the schools. And as he started reading the Book of Mormon, um, after we had taught him about the Gospel of Jesus Christ, he said, you know what? I haven't really read anything new in the Book of Mormon. It's all just been those five principles that you told us about, of faith, repentance, the baptism, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, and enduring to the end. And that's because that's what it is. That's what the Gospel of Jesus Christ is. And, you know, we, we talk about a lot of good things and a lot of good principles um, that we need to know and that we can continue to develop as we are working in applying the gospel of Jesus Christ. But really, it all comes back down to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It all comes back down to the fourth article of faith. We believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, Third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. And fourth, laying out of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. And then as we just continue to, to go through that throughout our lives, um, not just through baptism, but through the sacrament, through further t covenants that we make in the temple, and as males, as we receive the Melchizedek priesthood and receive the oath and covenant of the priesthood, those covenants... Um, are keys that that bind us to God, that help us to uh, unlock our potential as sons and daughters of God to become better, to become what He would have us become through the uh, atonement of Jesus Christ that is accessed through living His gospel.